Somebody, they go, ah, I left the seat, they did this, went to the store. Trying to figure out what this guy is doing. He'll do, there's a game going on. Take a hike. Hey, you had to get the shot. It looks important. Casilla has had this year. How about none? Well, he cannot get any farther away from home plate. <laughs> He's hugging the line. That is, that's the furthest away from home plate I've seen any hitter in the history of the game, except for John Cruck when he was facing Randy Johnson in an All Star game. He has absolutely no intention of swinging, and this is his first career at bat. Wouldn't it be great if he rubbed out the line and even stood further back? You know he's going to walk. <laughs> it's, you know, Seda has never seen a guy step that far away from the plate. Oh, my goodness. Too good. I'm surprised he has a bat and a helmet. And a four pitch walk. And he didn't know what to do. <laughs> I 
That's awesome. Well, why in the world was Casilla even wearing batting gloves? Were you? That's, an, that? that's an excellent question. <laughs> So all that's left is the proof that love's not only blind but deaf. Performing the Star Spangled Banner, please welcome former Great for Dead stars and members of the band Further, Phil Lesh and Bob Weir, along with Giants third base coach Tim Flannery.
is at it again. A four-hit game today, 462 for the series. The unorthodox outfielder is productive. Gives us a chance to revisit this tongue-in-cheek loss scattering report. Thanks to SBNation.com, Grant Brisby from McCovey Chronicles. Physical description, gangly. Runs like a rotary telephone thrown into a running clothes dryer. Throws like a man throwing a bookcase uphill. Swings a bat like his elbows are stapled to his knees and his underwear is pulled over his head. Stares at you when you aren't looking. Strength? He actually, he actually does everything quite well. And that sums up Hunter Pence's tongue-in-cheek lost scouting report. Just guy, just That's watching it. him warm up in the outfield? Yeah. I, I've never seen anybody throw a baseball like that no. at this level. No. Nope. Maybe Little League and, you know, seven-year-old. Seven he said he hurt his arm as a kid. And after hurting his arm as a kid, he couldn't throw the baseball conventionally. And he adapted and overcame. And, guys, that's the way he throws. Even when he's playing catch with his kids in the backyard and tries to throw one conventionally, the arm hurts.